Well, as thousands of people joined protests across the nation, many were chanting Breonna Taylor's name and saying, no justice, no peace. But is the rioting and violence we are seeing the answer? Here now to weigh in, former military intel officer Steve Rogers. Steve, when you see this going on, what are your thoughts? Well, what I'm seeing is that the rioting and the violence is not an answer. It only adds more to the narrative of those who are looking to take this country down. Look, no police officer wakes up during the day and ever wants to be involved in the death of someone. Yes, this is a tragedy, and any death of an individual is a tragedy. But you know what's interesting, Bob? The process is working. There was a grand jury convened, a grand jury made up of people who live within that community, or in fact in that community, and they rendered a decision. Now it is up to the people to allow the process to move forward, and let's see what the outcome will be. But this violence, I believe, has little to do what the uh, case is at hand and a lot to do with those who are simply using this as a basis to advance their agenda to take this country down. Yeah, I mean, we saw yesterday there was a U-Haul that had signs and had shields in it already, even before uh, we knew what was going to come out of the grand jury or come from the AG. And they already had all that in place, ready to protest. Um, having said that, when you look at this case, and I think we all agree it's unfortunate it ended up the way that it did, is there something that should have been done differently? Is there something going forward where this could be handled differently? Well, I will tell you, Bob, this is uh, very important. This is a good question. I think body cameras are very important. Uh, I believe that, uh, I, I question in my mind, why did it take until now, until March, for a lot of this to come out? So what we should do moving forward is, and it worked to every police department, be very transparently, as quickly as possible, invest in body cameras, because they could certainly put an end to a lot of the uh, questions that we have by getting answers out there right away. Yeah, it seems like the protesting isn't about this case as much as it is about the movement. Well, absolutely right. Uh, why are they uh, closing down the uh, bridges in uh, Brooklyn? Why are they protesting in Washington? Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that there is a movement, and myself and others have tried to get it across to the rest of the American people. This has little to do with racism, a lot to do with socialism. Uh, Ronald Reagan faced this in his time. We are now facing it in our time, and we have a president who realizes that, and he's ready to lead the charge uh, to build community relations between the minorities and the police, but also to go after the socialists who are the real cause of the problems that we're seeing across this country. All right, Steve Rogers, thank you very much, sir. Heading now.